Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we're looking at a couple of brand new sets along with a prior set from NECA Toys featuring Gremlins and Gremlins 2, the new batch and I have had this Flasher Gremlin for quite some time, like a while, it's just been kind of sitting in my office waiting to be open, waiting for this moment, so uh, yeah, it's perfect timing, right, so you got the Flasher Gremlin, here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that, and of course here is the barcode, these aren't really that hard to find, but you can probably find them in stores still, and then we have the Ultimate Brain, this guy is the new one, Gremlins 2, the new batch, starting to hit Walmart store shelves now, so if you're interested, definitely keep an eye out for him, Great packaging, as usual. The brain gremlin, right? The talking one. Open up the flap, see the figure, and a photo of the figure. Everyone involved with the creation of this guy. And here is the barcode as well, if you want to keep an eye out for him now. And then, last but not least, NECA was really nice. They sent over this brand new Gremlins to the new batch. This is a deluxe box set. You get two Gremlins, and it features the Demolition Gremlins. So, yeah, it's just a fun box set, right? Really nice photos of the Gremlins on the sides of the box. Really nice packaging overall. It's like a crate, like a shipping crate, so that's cool. Again, here's everyone involved with the creation of these figures. Here is the barcode as well. Now, this is how it was sent to me. It looks like it's uh, got three barcodes covered up, one on top of the other, but uh, hopefully this works for you. These haven't really started to hit store shelves just yet, but when they do, you'll definitely be ready to go. So, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at a ton of brand new Gremlins and Gremlins 2 figures by NECA Toys. And of course, we'll start it off with the Flasher Gremlin. And this is a, a fun gremlin, kind of basically an army builder type that uh, you can use, uh, you know, the trench coats, you can use different hats, different looks for all the various gremlins. And I will tell you right off the bat, with the whole like, hey, let's flash everybody, get in the hands with the articulation and such, nice articulation, but to get it kind of naturalistic, you're going to have to really finagle it. But you do get a nice looking gremlin fedora, right? It's got little notches in there. We're kind of hook onto his little spikes on his head. You get a uh, dealer's choice little visor right there. You get an extra hand, right, for holding all these various accessories. You get a little bow tie right there. You can pop the gremlin head off and slip this over the neck. Or, uh, you know, have him play cards, right? Use one of the hands. Definitely holds it well. This is actually one of the coolest accessories that it comes with. It's a bunch of poker chips. You can see the little popcorn kernels. It's very cool. Nothing much going on on the bottom, but all of it is painted nicely, done nicely, all the cards and such. And while he's playing cards, you can also enjoy a nice mug of beer, right? So done nicely. You can pop the actual beer out and just have a crystal clear mug if you wanted to go that route or put something in there, whatever you want to choose. But it just kind of locks in there and looks pretty good. You get a nice wooden mallet, right? Nice little deviations, nice sculpt on it. You do get that sock puppet thing from the movie right uh, you simply just pull one of the hands off and it pegs right in there so very nice to have that it's actually really well done nice texture and paint overall now you do get four cigarettes right they're all the same cigarettes you got the filter you got the cigarette and it's uh, become ash right then you got these pair of sunglasses, sun blockers, old folks sun blockers. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, nice 80s glasses nonetheless. Fits over the gremlin's eyes. Pretty darn good. I like this a lot. And then, of course, with all the accessories, you do get the flasher gremlin. And you can have a ton of fun of that. You know what I mean? He's just like, he's just flashing away. Showing you all his goods. It's a basic gremlin figure. Not much to it. Same articulation you're probably used to overall. But you do get a nice trench coat, which opens and closes. It's stitched well. It looks Looks great. You can tie it up. You can have it open. It's just, there's a lot of functionality to this thing, and a lot of it does not hinder the articulation at all because he still gets to use all his articulation points. Single jointed elbows. You got a bunch of articulation in the legs and the feet. If you've had a gremlin figure, you know what I'm talking about. The gremlins in my household has become quite the Christmas display, right? I actually pull all of them out for Christmas. And I'll do so when Christmas time comes this year, especially since now I got the brain gremlin. And that's a cool looking gremlin, you know, from Gremlins 2. He's the smart one. He wears the suit, smokes the pipe. 
got the glasses. You know, I could keep going and going. But yeah, the Brain Gremlin is actually done quite nicely. It's nice to have this guy on the shelf. And again, with the whole Christmas setup, it's fun when you have a bunch of different looking gremlins, right? So he does come with the brain hormone, right? You got the picture of the brain. You got the little number right there. And, then, you know, you can see inside it's... It's done fairly well, right? Nothing comes out, nothing moves. And then you got the syringe, right? Totally wish the syringe would move up and down, but this is the sunblocker syringe, right? And, you know, if you wanted to, you could have him dip in the syringe in that, even though it doesn't really match up, but uh, you get what I'm saying, right? And then you got a couple extra hands for him to hold all these various accessories. He definitely looks good smoking the pipe, right? His little professor's pipe right there. Really well done. I got to give it to him on that. That's a, that's a nice accessory. And uh, overall, yeah, the Brain Gremlin, like I said, very nice paint overall. All that great paint goes every which way. He's got his glasses. The glasses don't come off his face, right? They're essentially glued in. You can kind of see they kind of move around and such. Why you'd want to take them off doesn't matter. He needs his glasses, but he does have a nice tailored suit on, right? He's got a little blue turtleneck underneath it's a velcroed suit for the jacket you can kind of see yeah it's just the standard gremlin body that we're used to so far he's got his little pants and when you want to button him up hey he looks pretty dang good and much like the trench coat gremlin the the articulation really does not become hindered by the suit itself it really is uh, enough room inside to, to move him around and do everything you need to do articulation wise however when you do move him around you'll see on the back the pants are velcroed as well these tend to become loose over time if you move them around you'll hear the velcro go Shh, you're not ripping anything but at least it moves with you it doesn't rip it doesn't do anything but you can just alter it as you see fit you got his little tail sticking out or shell or whatever the heck that thing is but yeah overall the the teeth are nice i just wish that he had articulation in the mouth especially for the brain gremlin you know the one that talks that would have added a little bit more to it i think that's a missed opportunity but uh, overall yeah holding the syringe holding the beaker smoking the pipe it's a nice looking brain gremlin which then finally brings us to the demolition gremlins two pack so you get uh, two gremlins and it comes with a whole host of accessories and that's where a lot of the fun comes from from these NECA gremlins figures is you have a gremlin you can interswap all the different parts and pieces and they can be as just as wacky as they are from each of the movies and that's a lot of fun now you do get some blueprints for the Statue of Liberty straight from the movie right you know what I'm talking about it's done nice basically just a piece of paper but uh, it definitely works for that and then you spill out all the accessories and each of them comes with a pair of extra hands to hold all of these said accessories, like the Grems beer can, right? Very cool. You can pop the top. It's got a nice little decal on it. It's it's nicely done, right? You got this giant wooden mallet, different from the prior mallet that we looked at with the trench coat gremlin but each of them can hold that do some damage then you got the little uh, acme which is straight out of a looney tunes right you got the dynamite activator right this little part will move up and down just like in a cartoon just like in gremlins so you can have them positioned ready to blow the place up which i definitely like and then they got a little bundle of dynamites right here all strung together nicely done nice paint yeah that's some dynamites and uh, i'm glad that you get four loose sticks of dynamites as well the wicks on them are essentially bendy wire which work and each of the gremlins can hold them or you can put them on top of the tnt canister whatever you want to do but i really like the batman 66 bomb that he comes with right you can reenact that it's a very cartoony bomb but it's very cool to have that and with the acme tnt barrel right or oil drum whatever you want to have it be it's nicely done looks really cool actually it's just very simple but it does the trick and you pop the top off and uh, it's definitely great for all those weapon accessories storage, right? You pop the top back on. You won't be able to get the hammer in. That's the only thing that won't fit. But uh, yeah, you get the little Grimm's construction demolition gremlin right there. It's essentially the brain gremlin just repainted. But uh, yeah, you get this little Grimm's hard hat, right? <laughs> I like the creativity there. It's it's corny and funny at the same time. Not much to it. I do wish that it really fit his head a little bit better. It's very loose. He goes falling. That thing goes flying. So something to really kind of hook it on there would have been nice. But uh, yeah, overall, this is a different 
green than I have for a lot of the Gremlins figures that I have. It's a lighter green, different tone amidst yellows. I like the look of this guy. Plus, you know, you got the soft goods, you got the uh, the t-shirts, <laughs> you got the vest. And like I said, this is going to have the same exact articulation over and over. It's the same thing, same bodies in some sense, different heads, whatnot. But uh, nicely done, as is the other construction gremlin. This guy is actually my favorite. He is creepy looking. This thing looks real for whatever reason. Like, it just popped right out of the movie. He's got some ear articulation, which is always great. Again, the arms, the legs, not much in the torso. This guy does not have any torso articulation, but the paint on these things is just fantastic. And of course, he's got all the spikes and everything else to him. So nicely done. Overall, the red eyes really make this guy. No articulation in the mouth, which is always a welcome thing, but uh, it's definitely a nice set if you're a fan of Gremlins and all these guys go together. And like I said, stay tuned for the holidays 2022. I'll definitely have a video where I'll show off all the different Gremlins. I do a big setup and uh, it's become quite the uh, holiday tradition these days. Actually, it was kind of funny. The first year I did it, I had to hire an electrician to come in and he's in my house and he kept looking and he goes, hey man, I just got to ask you, uh, are those Gremlin action figures? This is one of those guys, he had no idea that it's one of his favorite movies. He's just, he had no idea that there's toys for these things. So now we become friends and every once in a while I'll text him and be like, hey, there's some new gremlins out and he's all stoked. So very nice to kind of, you know, bond with somebody over that. That was kind of cool. But like I said, very nice to have all these set up. They're nicely done. They're nicely painted. Some instances will just say, of where the accessories, you really got to finagle them, you know what I mean, to get them in the hands. Some extra different hands would be nice from time to time. Even accessories kind of sculpted into the hands, I wouldn't mind, right? But then, yeah, you kind of lose that ability to kind of form fit it with all the various swap out the parts and pieces. Uh, like I said, with these ones, you'll have a lot of fun. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at some of the brand new sets of NECA Toys' Gremlins 2, the new batch, along with a prior trench-coated Gremlins figure from the first movie. And as always, I am curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Are they for you? Are you a fan of Gremlins? Gremlins freaked me out as a kid. As an adult now, I think they're fun. And, you know, it's, just, it's fun to be had with the family in that sense. Of, of all the holidays, it's not Halloween. It's Christmas. That Gremlins is a Christmas movie. Why not have a, a cool Gremlins setup, right? But in other case, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, come on, we need Gremlins 3. What's going on? What's the holdup? Imagine the... The, the special effects and the, and the toys that they would do now, right? It'd be crazy. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.